hi, it's Joan. This week we're still focusing on judgment and in particular looking at the times when your responder and partner has opened in a major, one heart or one spade, and you have support for partner. The number of cards that you've got for support is actually quite crucial as to how far partner will bid. So having only three trumps for partner, even though they've got five when they open, it's not as good as having four trumps. So when you decide whether you'll make a single raise for partner, that is one heart past two hearts, or a limit raise, one heart past three hearts, there's a bit of judgment involved with that. And in order to make a limit raise, you need to have something you can trump because if you've got four trumps for partner and a shortage like a doubleton or a singleton in another suit, it means extra tricks if partner can trump the losers in your hand of that short suit. So it makes a big difference whether you raise to two as to whether partner goes to game or whether you jump to three making a limit raise. People like to say they play Bergen raises. They were invented by Marty Bergen, a top American player and author, but really all they're doing is the same thing as we are, which is differentiating between whether you've got four trumps for partner or only three. He believed, and it's right, that the more trumps you've got for partner, the more you should be prepared to bid because your hand will play well with a lot of trumps. So try the hand I've given you and you need to use your judgment about whether a hand is a good hand or not such a good hand. And a lot of it has to do with the side suits. My Zooms for September are coming up and they are nailing no trumps. That's the easier level one on Monday morning Sydney time starting very soon. And if you would like to come, just go to shop and log on. The other one on Wednesday mornings is I'm looking at both the quality of strong hands and weak hands because they're the very opposite. When do we open a strong hand? When do we make a preemptive weak bid? It's a very interesting area of bidding and I'd like to show you a very modern approach to it all. So have a great week everyone. This is a very flat hand with 10 high card points, 4, 3, 3, 3 shape. So we pass and partner opens one spade showing five or more spades and 13 or more points. It's important that we make the correct raise for partner now to show support. And do we raise to two spades or do we raise to three spades? Three spades is called a limit raise and that's usually with about 11, 12 points and four trumps. Two spades is less than that, between six to nine or ten. But is this hand, even though it's got ten points, is this hand worth three spades? I don't think so because it's so flat. The factors that improve a responding hand are shortages when you've got spades as trumps so that you can trump in the short hand. But there's nowhere to trump here because you've got three cards in all the other suits. So let's just raise to two. If partner makes another move in the bidding over two, then we would go on, but they didn't. So we're lucky to be in a part score of two spades. The losers are obviously one club loser, unless East holds the king as well as the ten, which is unlikely. Two diamond losers, the ace and the king. And the heart suit is horrible. It's, we've got seven hearts, but we don't have the ace, the queen, the ten, the nine, and we don't know where those cards are. So the heart suit's not an attractive proposition. We might lose three heart tricks um, and no spade losers. So we'll make five spade tricks, two clubs after we lose to the king, and that's seven and we need to make one more trick. So let's see where the king of clubs, sure enough, 
it was in the West Ham. Now they are taking their diamonds and our Diamond Queen is now a winner. So we can actually play the Eight of Clubs, win the Queen, and both the Ace of Clubs and the Queen of Diamonds will allow us to discard two losing hearts. So our plan is to draw trumps, noting carefully how the trumps are falling, and in case they're breaking 3-1, which they're not, they've just broken 2-2, two, two, but it still was correct to play the king, now cross over to the queen, and take the winning ace of clubs, and the queen of diamonds, and we've made six tricks, we'll make two more, and if the Ace of Hearts is in the West Hand, we'll make an over trick. Try the King, it loses, and we'll now lose another heart trick, and the rest are ours. So we made only eight tricks on this hand. So judging a hand with 4-3-3-3 three, three, three shape, we should be prepared to downgrade a hand like that. Even though it had 10 points and 4 trumps, there was nowhere to trump. So being in 2 was all that we made was 8 tricks.